Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. I hope you guys are doing great. And today I am using the Joker deck. Yes, the Joker. And it's for allegedly entertainment purposes for the Jokers. Yes, they are the joking, laughing stock of the globe now. Yes, but even through that, Tyler Perry got off his jet to quote, quote, go see them. Quite, frank, quite frankly, I think they're an afterthought. I think he's out, out to see Oprah. And while they probably got wind of it, he was coming and he said he would stop by. Pro more than likely, this is my feeling. But we know how they operate. They like attention as attention as attention. They got to look like they're in alignment with stars and that people actually care about them. So more than likely, they're the ones who sent out the paparazzi to get shots of him coming and going. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it wasn't him. He doesn't need the attention. He's not an attention seeker. I think it's them. Uh, and then putting it out there that he's uh, on a mission to just go see them, which I don't buy for a minute. Uh, he's he's pretty chummy with Mark, with um, Oprah. And I'm sure they were just an afterthought. So I'm going to try the Joker deck. Haven't done it in a while. I bought this deck ex exclusively because of Harry, Harry the Clown. So, yeah, and it's a very slippery deck, just like them. Very slippery. It just slips and slides. You see, it's very shiny. It is kind of difficult to work with. It's not my favorite because it's so slippery, slopey, like the pear. And so, here we go. Let's get it. Yes. And why is Tyler Perry there? What is the mission? And what will he say to the pair? The whinging, whining, slippery slope pair who are the jokes of... The United States, the jokes of the UK and the Commonwealth and quite a few places. Let's get the jokesters, the jokesters. Boom. There we go. Seven of cups. Yes, they are thinking about what can they do? What can we dream about? Look at those cups. Beautiful cups. I do think the imagery is really quite pretty. Uh, so there you go. That is the seven of cups. Day-to-day -day dreams. They're trying to figure out what are their choices? What should they choose? Uh, it's the abundance of imagination, trying to make an emotional decision, and they would like to do some kind of negotiation with him. They probably want to borrow his jet if they go in. Can we can we have your jet? Because it was the Freedom Flight. They used his, uh, it's like a million and a half for his big, huge uh, private jet. So they're probably wondering, can we negotiate and, and choose your jet here? Because we need the wealth, we need the abundance here. And so is that possible with the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, they want to make a proposition. Uh, they had a breakthrough in sight of needing his, his, uh, his jet probably. Uh, maybe Harry might be going, but I think that's on the table. And I don't, you know, they may not want to miss out, even though they know they're going to be um, scolded or, you know, getting um, things thrown at them and words said and being gaslit, you know, just they're, they're prepared for it. So then we have here the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They know that they're not winning the race. They know that, that things are falling apart. They know that they're hitting a wall with the Knight of Pentacles here. You know, you have people, uh, it looks like they're getting the limelight here with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, like he's, he's like, oh yeah, I'm the cool guy. I got my thumb up. Yeah, baby. Girls like me. I got the light shining on me. Things are going great. You know, I'm just going about life and it's just so much fun. I'm really enjoying myself. You know, I've got the ladies. I got my wife. I got everything. No, he doesn't. <laughs> it's in reverse. No, sorry, Harry. It's in reverse. The clown cannot perform. The clown is not a workhorse. He cannot put any ideas into action. Things are not going well. Whatever he does put into action fails. Uh, so basically, yeah, it's just not going well. And uh, what else can I say here? It's ready to give up. He's feeling like he's working too hard. Oh, God. It's the workaholic position, the loser. He's a loser workaholic who's kind of a deadbeat. He's a deadbeat in terms of pentacles. And, you know, and so that he wants to make some kind of pr proposition. He probably needs some money. He needs gifts. He needs something. So he, it could have been some kind of drug run too, maybe. Let's, let's ask the pendulum because people did say, hmm, do you think he could have been doing some kind of drop off of some shrooms or something? I mean, maybe he's bringing something in for him uh, because he, they like to use jets to get deliveries of, of all kinds of stuff. Uh, special specialty foods and whatnot. So some kind of delivery, some kind of gift. 
I would say was coming in or he's going to give them something or they're going to ask for something. So they want something. They want something from him. Is that a surprise? Because Harry is that, uh, that knight falling on his head. He's the loser prince. He's, the, he's not performing well. He wants full stop. He knows he can't stand on his own. He needs a daddy. He needs a new daddy. So he chose a new daddy. Basically, it seems like he's the only one that rushes in to help them uh, or is willing to even talk to them at this point because it seems like everybody else has given up. Uh, let's get to um, a challenging position. I might go longer today because people say, only 15 minutes? How about longer? Yes, they want some kind of new emotional beginning, Ace of Cups. So, yeah, they, they, they're... It's challenge. It's a challenge to get new love, new emotional connections going, uh, new creativity going, uh, getting new friendship and support is a challenge, and getting peace is a challenge. Getting hookups is a challenge. No one wants to hook up with them. They don't have any friends. No, nobody likes you. Uh -uh. Nobody likes you. Nobody wants to drink with you. You already drink enough as it is. So, yeah. Uh, now, sorry, we're not going to create anything with you. So, yeah, they really have a hard time with creativity because uh, cups are a real creative thing. And that that's like a spark of creativity, a uh, spark of love, you know, that kind of an aha moment of love, an aha moment of of uh, hookups and and. Uh, loving commitment card uh, it doesn't doesn't um, quite happen it was it was uh, it's a challenge it's a challenge for them so people aren't really interested in them since it's such a challenge and it's a burden it's a burden on them because nobody likes them it's not good for their public persona and they know this here it looks like a crop here yeah the crop's empty nobody nobody's nobody is eating the fruit nobody's taking a bite of what they're serving Nobody wants the apples that they're handing over. Look at that. Nobody's willing to work with them. Uh, it's over. It's burdened and overloaded because nobody wants them. Nobody wants to open the door, that emotional door, and take on the burden of Megan and Harry. And it's a challenge for him. For Tyler Perry, it's a challenge because he knows he's the last guy standing. <laughs> he's the last guy standing. Nobody else has the money and the resources to put up with the pair. He must be one patient saint. That's all I can say. <laughs> or a dumb, a dumb one at that. Too giving. Too, too, to give any of his time. He's, he's, he's going to mess with himself. Uh, let's get to the focal point here. This one's out. I will take it. The focal point here is the eight of swords. Yeah. Yeah. This is, they're feeling like this. Here's Harry clown, clown Harry. He's feeling like he's a target. He's got a target on his back. Well, you're hell, you sure do. You got Taliban target on your back. So he's really concerned. Yeah, he's a target everywhere he goes because he doesn't shut up. So he's created this target for himself, this eight of swords. Yeah, you are a target and, and they're hitting you hard, aren't they? Uh, this is basically self-limiting thoughts. He did it to himself. Uh, it's a prisoner of your own mind. Uh, and whatever he's doing is no longer serving him. Uh, he has created his own bindings. He has tied himself up into knots, and it's preventing him from moving forward. So he has to call his black daddy. Okay, the next position here, Ace of Swords. Yeah, he had an aha moment of something. I need someone with a clear mind here because... Because my, my, my thoughts and what I'm doing isn't working for me. And I just turned into turned myself into a walking target. Um, he's hoping that um, probably Tyler Perry has better ideas for him. Because that's the, aha, I've got some intellectual breakthrough insight. Uh, he might have some ridiculous idea for Tyler Perry too. I got this really ludicrous idea and I want you to partake in me so that I can become a target again. Uh, it might look good on me. Maybe people will feel sorry for me if they see this. Uh, he's really that sick. He's he's not in a good mental place. Uh, I wouldn't put anything off the table for him, but he needs someone who has the ability to think clearly with that ace of swords. He cannot think clearly for himself because he's all trapped in his mind. So he does need a little bit of intellectual insight, uh, someone who can actually think clearly. Uh, he is so blocked, it's ridiculous. So he is focused on getting someone to intellectually be smarter than him, someone who has a good business mind, someone who's succeeded, someone who hasn't screwed up his own life <laughs> so, and isn't a walking target. <clears throat> oh, man.
Tyler, what are you doing? Just walk away. Here we go. We have here strength in reverse. Yeah. Here we go. There's upright. It's like the little boy hanging from the tree. He fell from the tree. That's like William saying, get down, Harry. Get down. You shouldn't be hanging like that, you idiot. And he fell. He fell off the tree. He's fallen off the family tree is how I feel with this card. Yeah, and, and there's no negotiation. He doesn't feel like he has negotiation ability. So it could be over negotiation. Uh, it could be him just get, just being there gives Harry a sense of inner strength. Give him that strength to continue on. Uh, because nobody will have anything to do with them. No one wants emotional connections. No one wants to work with them. Uh, he's just such a, a joker. They're such a joker. And they're falling. They're falling. They're just falling. They're weak. Everybody's breaking off from them. All those branches. I just feel like all the branches are falling off, including the monkey and the boy, just hitting the ground. So not doing good at all, literally. I'm just going to go with the imagery today. How's that sound? Yeah, he doesn't even have the bounty of, of life, you know? That's like getting picking your bounty. He's got to pick his own battles better. Uh, you know, here, nobody was willing to pick his fruit. No one was willing to work with them. Here, he's had, he had to pick his own. He has to pick his own. No one's willing to do anything with them. They really have destroyed themselves, as we know. Okay, let's get into the past position that doesn't serve. Well, be, that fell over there to the side. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I got it. No problem. Okay, here we go. We have here the hermit in reverse. Yeah, so it's upright. That looks like someone who's capable of studying, going inward, looking in themselves, looking at other people. It is distancing yourself, going, healing yourself, um, you know, self-reflection by, by studying. This guy's studying and reading a book and looking over his shoulder. Uh, I think Harry doesn't like the idea of living, looking over his shoulder all the time. So he knows that he needs to return to the outside world, but he's feeling fear and paranoia. He's got a lot of rigid thinking and he has an inability to go within and he's suffering from a lot of paranoia and loneliness in this position. So a lot of loneliness, paranoia. He knows he needs to return to the coronation, but he's, he's, he's been in such a vulnerable uh, position. I'll just say it lightly nicely uh in a very dark place he's got to pull himself out a little bit of out of his dark spot he's in a very dark spot and he hasn't been able to heal himself but he still has to push on uh he's feeling rejected that's feeling very rejected so he's feeling rejected rejected with the judgment yeah a lot of self-doubt inner critic self-loathing going on and um he knows there's no forgiveness this is about forgiveness you know the angel kind of like letting go forgiveness uh, it's a lot of it's mainly forgiveness in yourself so much than forgiving other people, but it's mainly about forgiving yourself. And with the hermit, I would say he's got to forgive himself uh, from what he's done. He has an incapacity to do that. He also doesn't think that they will forgive him, that there is going to be no forgiveness, uh, and, but he's got to return anyway. So he is, I think he's thinking about going to the coronation here and using his jet because he's he's asking for it here with this ace of pentacles can i borrow your jet because because i'm a loser i'm a loser and i can't make it work i'm not, i can't stand on my own here knight of pentacles can stand on his own you know he gets the ladies everybody's woo this guy's got a fancy car he's got the jet he's got it all that slow and steady won the race this guy succeeded in life harry's the loser he's dependent he can't stand on his own. So I need your jet. Daddy, can I have your jet? And, and no one will have anything to do with me. I can't get anyone to talk to me. That's such a challenging situation. Even talking to Tyler Perry is a challenge, uh, getting a hold of him. So I think he's doing it while he's in the area. And then this card here was uh, flipped over. So I will do it. Three of swords. Yeah, because of pain and suffering, he created so much pain and suffering to his family and to everybody. He, it's just backpedaling back onto him. It doesn't serve him. Uh, it's the betrayal. He's the betrayer. He's the heartbreaker. He's the one causing all the pain. And he knows that they're not going to forgive him. And he's got to go back. He's got to go back. Oh, my God. Give me your jet. I can't get there on my own. I need someone to, to, to uh, get me there in, in uh, absolute luxury. Spoiled. Spoiled. Here we go, going into the future, the future, future for the clowns and the jokers, for the future, whoa, got some cards here, 
Queen of Cups in reverse. She needs psychotherapy. Yes, it's because Megan's throwing emotional tizzy fit. She is falling apart. I can't go unless we have a private jet. I'm not going. I don't know if I could go. I can't go. Oh my God, I'm having mental instability. I'm so codependent. I need that jet. I'm such a victim. I'm sulking. I'm a superficial heart, but I don't care. Let me cry. Yeah, I'm going to cry. So, yeah, she's crying. She is crying. It is the pity wife. She probably got on the phone saying, you got to come sticks. Come, come by and say, we just cannot stand on her own. Can you please come? I married this loser. <laughs> he doesn't have the money I thought he had. Could you come, Tyler? Please come by. And then we have here the five of cups in reverse. So there's a lot of spilt wine, probably overindulged. <laughs> And basically here, just having to, you know, dry up your tears. You didn't get what you wanted. This is an unfulfilled wish. Yeah, she thought she was going to get a lot more. Five is about conflict. So she's having a lot of conflicts with her emotions. She knows she needs to purge and release it. She knows she feels let down. It's very painful. Lots of regrets. Um, and she's having a hard time keeping her feelings a secret. She cannot keep those feelings a secret. So she's doing the pity play. Come get me, come get me. Can you rescue me from Harry? Can you take can you take Harry back? I don't know. She's trying to recover herself. She's trying to recover herself because she knows she can't recover with anybody else. She's trying to go into acceptance phase, probably by calling a man to come rescue Harry, get her out or get her out. She wants out. She wants out because we have a four of swords in reverse. So with the four of swords in reverse, that's complete defeat, total defeat. Uh, Four of Swords in Reverse is lost faith. Uh, trying to find strength. Oh, they don't have strength. She doesn't have strength. Trying to find strength. Uh, there's nothing. To, there's just, we're, we fell out of the tree here. And I'm trying to find strength, but, you know, I, I need a break, breaking point. I need a break from this. I need, I'm having a mental collapse, extreme anxiety. So they're not doing well behind closed doors. And they're, they're, they're screaming, crying like toddlers. Come get us. Come rescue us, uh, daddy. And then we have here the tower. Yeah, you know, we made it happen. You know, we did this, but don't blame us because I'm pity play here. I can't believe what a target I am. Oh, my God. But they did it themselves. They did that. There's that shocking un unwanted change, that shocking event, which is um, the Frogmore Cottage, which they knew it was coming because it was just a lease. They knew it, but they're going to play on it. There's a play on that pity. Uh, oh, my God, they took Frogmore away. And then we have here the five of swords here. So back to more sword energy with conflicts here with the five of swords. Five of swords is walking away from defeat. Uh, there is no, it's a no win situation card. It's falling out with other people. So they feel like, yeah, we've fallen out with everyone. Nobody will have us. Tyler, nobody will have us. No one wants to start a friendship with us. No one will give us more money and opportunities. We need a jet. No, we're not the center of attention here because we're losers. We got targets on our back. We need to come up with creative ideas. You know, there's no negotiation, no forgiveness. Uh, you know, extreme loneliness. We know he has to return. She's going to probably play pity and play pregnancy or something. We know that, right? Or miscarriage. Um, so, yeah, she's, this is just, this is coronation, frogmore, feeling public humiliation, rejection, uh, being the laughing stock. That's basically what the spread is all about. <laughs> and expecting him to go into fix-it mode. You can fix it for us. Okay, then we have here the page of swords in reverse. Yeah, they were all talk. We were just all talk. We didn't really mean it. There's your gaslighting right there. Total arrested development with the page of swords in reverse. So... You know, with the Page of Swords upright, that's an important message. They've got an important message of, of repeating their old patterns of whinging, whining, crying, lying, um, being nasty, and being all talk with cruel news. So, so it's just, oh, they say that we're cruel. They say that we're, you know, that we're, we're all talk and that we, we interfere with other people. We don't interfere with other people. You know, we're, 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 our mind is opening up. We do have friends. We have colleagues. Not really. Yeah, but we pretend we have colleagues. We're all lies. 
we well okay we we like to put it out there that we're going to award shows we're getting this we've got friends we're going to this party that no it's all lies people are finding out our lies that we're all talk help us help us tyler can you please help us yeah they're on guard and they're outwitted is what it is <laughs> Okay, next position for the Jokers. Next position for the outside influences. Outside influences. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, back to nobody will work with us. They're they're low grade. They're low grade. They're low level. Low level uh, in terms of being masters at what they do. They, they're not masters at anything they do. They're very low level. No one sees them as being skilled or having that high high capability in, in the, whatever trade they per, they go after. Whatever they're doing, it's very low level. Uh, so they're not making the money. There's lots of conflicts. Uh, they're not getting the financial rewards. They're not getting the growth and the collaboration. It's in reverse. It's all because of self-interest. And they fight with people. And no one wants to work with them. The teamwork in reverse. Teamwork makes a dream work, but no one wants to work with them. That's what we got on the challenging position. Nobody will work with them. Everybody flees from them. So it's looking like society saying no. They're being, they're being um, erased. So this is also about them being erased. This is about cancel culture. And everyone's canceling Meghan and Harry. It is cancel culture of Meghan and Harry. And they're feeling it. So come on, Daddy. Help us out. Bring, bring, bring us back to life, Daddy. Okay, let's get the next position. Woo, here we go. That is not what I'm going to take, but that one I'll take because it wants out. Why not? Here we go. Next position, it flipped over on there. Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, see, so Seven of Wands. A lot of uncertainty here. You know, I give up. You know, I, this, this guy's just, all right. You know, you want to protect a point of view. I'm a bit defensive, you know, uh, so any success is going to be very hard one, to ho trying to hold up your boundaries. Uh, this is the clown saying, go away, you know, uh, this guy's like, okay, okay, you know, all right, all right, I hear you. Uh, there's a bit of here of a manipulation. There's some barriers in place here, but uh, they're here. Their, their fear is their total lost cause, total lost cause, manipulation, with whatever point of view they had, it was a complete manipulation, totally inadequate. He can't win. He can't defend it. He lacks boundaries because he just stops. He won't stop talking. Talk, 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 talk. So everyone's talking about how he has a lack of boundaries with his open mouth, with his clown mouth. His it's not even humorous. Sorry, Harry, you're not funny. You're not the funny. You're not the funny clown. Uh, yeah. So he can't even defend his own belief system. Because we all know it's all talk, all lies. He knows that he doesn't have, um, he doesn't have clarity of thought because that he's at a destroyed point, and he needs to call him in with the clear thought because his everything he does turns to shit. So he knows he can't. Whatever ideas he has, he's it's gonna fail. So he's hoping to get some some insight. He needs some. He needs someone smart because he's stupid. Because he's the Joker. <laughs> he is the Joker. Final outcome. Ooh, that pop. Final outcome. There it is. Knight of Wands. Yep, there he is. And here comes Tyler. Oh, Tyler in his fancy car. <laughs> He's coming in. I've got you. I got you, brother. Here I am. Yes, the Knight of Wands coming in with the energy, the enthusiasm. Uh, good, good with money. Very successful because wands tend to be very successful. So he needs that young, that young energy. He's not as young, but anyways, nonetheless, it's a wand. So wands are very good with business. Very, uh, when it comes to, they're very disciplined. Whatever they, wands, when they think of something which is creative, it's that, aha, I got some something to create here. They see it through. Um, they see it through. They've got the enthusiasm that they take action. They do what makes them tick. They've got the ego to see it through because they don't want to be bruised. Uh, they've got it internally and externally um, to understand what works in terms of business and family. So he's here to try and make it work. You know, he know he can make it work being being this night here. So he's coming in with this fearless new direction, sort of the hero. It's a hero card. 
and uh, hoping he can finish and add some kind of adventure, travel. He needs to travel. So I think this is for travel because the Knight of Wands is a travel card. Um, and so I think that he's going to aid Harry in his travels to the coronation is probably what this talk is about. But I think they're kind of an afterthought and he's more than likely visiting Oprah first and then he's going to handle this matter to, as a secondary situation. And then they're taking taking advantage of him by having pictures taken and putting it out there. Uh, because paparazzi does not hang around and do that kind of stuff. That was a, a call was made, okay? A call was made. That's one thing I've learned from doing this is they make those phone calls. They don't just linger and, you know, and say, hey, look, you know. So I think they called that in. And he's here to be the hero in the rescue. That's what he's there for. To hero, to be the hero, the hero of Harry in their stupid ways. And um, yeah, see if he can, what he can do for them. Hopefully he gets, he just gets tired of them. I mean, seriously, when is this man going to get tired of them? And they do, I learned, they do have this jet. It's like a jet membership kind of thing for the rich. Um, and they actually will let other rich people borrow their jet. Well, Megan and Harry are not paying their, their fees. They're not paying, paying for the gas. They're not, they're not doing any, anything for the people that are loaning their jets or allowing them to fly it. They're not paying them back. They're not paying for anything. Um, and so some of the other people are not wanting to do it. Um, they pulled back because they've used their jet so often that I think maybe they put a block on them. No, nope, don't let Megan and Harry take off with our jets anymore. So I think this is why he's there. Uh, other people are saying no to them. No one wants to work with them. They know that they're 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 just children using other people. They're they're completely um, incapable financially. So no one wants to carry their carry them. Tyler Perry is the only one willing to do it at this point. So let's get some cards on Harry. Let's get some cards on Megan and Harry when he gets there. So we know they're going to do the pity play. They're going to play on his emotions. Uh, let's see, what kind of conclusion will he tell him? What will Tyler Perry tell Megan and Harry? What will Tyler Perry say to Megan and Harry? What will Tyler Perry say to Megan and Harry? What kind of advice? Too bad it's not get lost. Really, he needs to. Let's get to the bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I understand you're at a bottom. You're overloaded. You got total drudgery here. Yeah, things aren't going too good for you, are they? Uh, yeah, this is a major disaster. This is ending in total failure here. What defeat. It's kind of beyond your control. I see you're both, uh, your spirits are completely, utterly defeated here. And um, maybe the situation was unavoidable. Yeah, okay, so we're at a dead end here. You're at a dead end. At a dead end. Yeah, they are at a dead end. So he sees that he's walking into a pair that's playing total pity. What's he going to say to them? What's he going to say to them? I'm just going to do a few here and then I'll clarify. What's he going to say to these clowns? To the Joker pair. Okie dokie. What do we have here? Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Oh, Four of Cups is not good. Total indifference. Yeah, he's going to be like, yeah, I, I see that. Yeah, I see this is ending in failure, but he's feeling a little indifferent. <laughs> that's good Whew, thank god he realizes they have a fractured psyche and they're bored they're bored um they're very apathetic to any love being offered to them he, he if they're just trying to serve something up on a platter to him he's just thinking i don't know you know i see your this is a dead end uh they're gonna always be apathetic towards other people megan and harry they can't accept love i think he's be feeling kind of indifference because four of cups is the card of indifference indifference and you've come to the end of the road here i see this is a problem for you let's get another one what else is tyler perry gonna say to them about being the rescue mission king of swords wow all right so they need a lawyer <laughs> You need to talk to your lawyer. Uh, you need to talk to a lawyer. I don't know if I can help you. I'm feeling a little indifferent, and this is a little bit out of my ballpark here. Maybe I can have you speak to my lawyer. I have a really good lawyer I can recommend. Can you afford him? Uh, they need that financial offer. They need that paid for, too. 
So not only that, but they also need someone who's smart and intellectual to help them get out of that um, dead end, total rock bottom failure and that indifference that the world has for them. So lawyer, 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 that's lawyer. Let's clarify that lawyer card, that um, king of swords, clarify the king of swords. Yeah, we can drive them in. All right. But I think you can only afford the broken down one. <laughs> It'll more than likely go up in smoke. I don't know. You can try. You can try. You can try. But I don't know. You guys are the Joker clowns. It's probably going to go up in smoke still. <laughs> Be careful. Those yellow lines will probably cross them. <laughs> Can't even drive straight. <laughs> yeah, they can easily go off the cliff, too, into the water, too, if things get really bad. Ooh, that's, that's mean. Okay. Let's clarify that chariot. Chariot. Let's clarify the chariot. Yep, call on the lawyer. Call on the lawyer. It's looking like a lot of black smoke in your past there. Let's try and see if we can drive you out of it. Oh, then we have here the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this guy here, he's going to try, but it's looking like it's going to fail here. I don't know. There's a lot of guards up by the palace there. There's a lot of guards. It may not work going in. You might want to speed the hell out of there um, with the Nine of Swords. So with the Nine of Swords, you know, you got your bothered conscience. You might drive up, but things might be so guarded and, um, you know, they're so guarded that you just might want to leave right away. Uh, this may not go so well. There's a lot of mental anguish here. Uh, a lot of mental anguish. Yep. And are you, is your conscience bothered? Are, you know, he knows what he's done. They know what they've done. And now they're trying to backpedal and get some help to get out of it. <laughs> Let's uh, clarify that Nine of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Yes. Depression. They're depressed because they're losers. And they're Joker clowns. I'd like to see some makeup on them. Yeah. Okay. Let's get here. Yeah. Let's, let's, yeah. Back to the Seven of Wands. Yeah. They, they have, they're having a hard time guarding and um, defate, uh, defending their point of view. Yeah, I don't know. I can't defend my point of view. Even if I go in, I can't defend my point of view. And Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm going to be rejected. I'm going to be rejected. There's no growth. I don't think they'll ever take me back. I don't think I can't defend myself. They're not going to hear me out. They're just going to say no to me because they're so guarded up and, and security everywhere. I can't even get in there to film for Netflix anymore. Can you believe that, Tyler? I can't even do what I want to do. They're blocking me. Total blockade there. Yep, can't defend. I just can't defend my clown ways, and there's just no growth because I am that Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm ready to hit a wall. I'm so depressed. I need to go back, but I can't. I know I have to go back with that Hermit in reverse. I know it's time to return, but I'm feeling so much fear and paranoia from all my mushrooms and my drugs. How am I going to do it? Can, can I take your private jet so I can take my drugs with me too? Let's get to the Four of Cups upright. Indifference. He's indifferent. He's like, well, I got a lawyer I can recommend. Let's get that indifference. 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 Clarify that indifference for Tyler Perry. Indifference. We have here the Five of Wands. Yeah, it's competition, struggles, and challenges here with the Five of Wands. There's not going to be nothing but conflicts and disagreements if you go in there. You can't defend your thought process. They're going to be indifferent. They're going to be so guarded up here. There is, you're, you know you're facing rejection going in, so just, just accept it. The lawyer might be able to help you negotiate better if, I, if you fly out there with a lawyer. Uh, but you, already, you got to admit, you're going to be rejected. You're going to be rejected. This is a dead end. It's complete dead end here for you. Total defeat. And everyone's going to be indifferent. You're going to be facing lawyers. So he's just trying to reiterate what he knows is already a fact of life that they're communicating through lawyers. He already knows this, but he's a dumbass. So let's clarify the five of wands. Let's clarify the five of wands. Yeah, he just is used to getting his way and breaking through boundaries and uh, being able to push through emotions and mental collapses. Oh, Harry's having another mental collapse. We better give him what he wants. Let's mow the lawn for him and create a nice, clean path for Harry. That's not happening. He doesn't have this mowed lawn for him, a nice, clean path. So that's what, and I think Tyler Perry's starting to recognize it, that he's so spoiled. He's always had 
that helicopter parenting style, that mowing the lawn for him. So there's no challenges and struggles. He's not used to challenges and struggles. That's why he's the Knight of Pentacles hitting a wall. He can't do anything without everybody clearing the path for him because I'm a prince. I'm Princess Diana's son. Step aside, step aside. You know, everybody should bend down to me because she was my mama. Yeah, sorry, Harry. Okay, five of wands upright. That challenges and struggles, and he knows he's going to uh, end up having to answer. Uh, there's going to be a lot of conflicts ahead, a lot of resistance, and uh, it's going to be all through lawyers. And um, basically, you know, you are you don't have the proper communication skills to deal with it, so maybe a lawyer would be better for you. And I know you're running on adrenaline right here. You're going to get so anxious and so ego-driven uh, and such a show-off, uh, violent energy. Uh, you need someone else to talk for you. So let's get to clarify that five of wands upright. Five of wands upright. Clarify that five of wands. Argumentative. Nothing but fights, fights, fights. Out in the garden, too. And we have here the knight of swords. Yeah. The Knight of Swords is coming in quickly, swiftly, unstoppable action, and it can get pretty nasty. Uh, this is very narc energy here with the Knight of Swords. Um, just very another fighting energy. So basically, with the conflicts, more fights. You know, you go in, expect to fight. Expect the challenges, struggles. Expect the disagreements. Expect them to be indifferent towards you. Expect the lawyers. Expect that this is over for you, Harry. You will never grow with them again. They're, they're letting you know it's not going to happen. You cannot defend what you've done. They are so guarded up. We, you can go in, but you're you, leaving your smoke behind and driving in. They're going to be all guarded up and waiting for you. They're waiting for you. They're all prepared for you to hold you accountable, and you're not capable of holding yourself accountable. You don't even have the the um, the energy to fight back. So let's use a lawyer. Yeah, very much lawyer here. Uh, let's get to the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Katy Perry and Harry going in. More than likely, it's looking like he's really talking to him about this whole situation. What do I have here? I have here the High Priestess in reverse. So with the high priestess in reverse is basically all the secrets are out. Um, he's going to try to, to um, withhold information, but all the secrets are out. Um, it's a repressed intuition. And he has no aces. He knows there are going to be no aces and feelings when he goes because they're at a, a rock bottom. They're at an absolute end. Sorry, it's done and over with here. And there are no aces and feelings. So no one's going to be like, aha, here's some rewards for you. Aha, here's some energy to create something new, a new vision. Let's let's build ourselves back up and give you the thumbs up. No, they're giving the thumbs down. Uh, you know, there is no breakthrough insight in, in rational decisions. Uh, it's all going to be destructive, more than likely. Nothing is idealistic. It's in reverse. Nothing is idealistic here. It will not be the ideal state that you're looking for. You will not get what you want, in essence. Um, all, all the hidden stuff is coming out. So it's also a card of retreat and reflect. So you might just need to retreat and reflect when you go out there uh, and think about what you want. Uh, so yeah, this is just retreat, retreat, just like the, the hermit in that position. And then we have here two of wands in reverse. And he's also saying it may not be a good idea going in. Maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe you shouldn't because you know you're not going to grow. Here, the clown's growing. The clown can go up there and he can grow. Nope, sorry, you're not going to grow. Uh, it's just not likely ever going to happen. You just have to accept it, Harry. So I think he's really trying to give him this acceptance of his fate, of what he created. Um, that it's a bad plan. There is no potential for growth anymore, Harry. Uh, you've made the wrong decisions and, um, it's not what was best. There are, I, you know, I don't necessarily have any ideas except give you a lawyer. Uh, I can give you some fatherly advice, but that's about it probably. And it's going to, you know, you're kind of at a week in order to go in, it's going to require a lot of strength. You need to decide what's best. You got to get out of your comfort zone. It's going to require will and strength. We already know we got the strength strength card in reverse. You have no strength to face him. 
you don't even have any options at this point because two of wands is weighing your options and having the energy and creative insight to be able to do it and to take the actual steps to do it because twos is about taking first steps. He can't even take the first steps to go in because he knows that, you know, he's going to be held accountable. He doesn't want it. So we have here three of wands and look at this three of wands. You know, he's looking pretty exhausted here. And basically, he's he needs to make travel plans. He needs to make tra travel plans. And look at this clown. He's not too happy about it. Yeah, he needs to paint his own world outside of his family. And he needs to assert himself. He doesn't want to assert himself. Uh, he's got to go into completion phase here. Because uh, three is a completion phase. He doesn't want things to go into completion phase that he's never going to be part of the family again. They're not accepting of him. It's total rejection. Uh, I think he's having to talk some actual intellectual sense into him uh, and strategize giving him some actual hard truths because this guy, the king of swords will give you the hard truth. I think he's giving him the hard truth that you are at a rock bottom. It's never going to happen. Because everybody's indifferent towards you. Your whole everybody's gonna be very indifferent. You're never gonna get their love back. You're you're it's total rejection, total rejection. And you're gonna have to go into completion, the completion phase here. And then you're gonna have to communicate, grow outside the family and do it yourself. You're gonna have to grow your own crop. You're gonna have to restart your life. I think he's really trying to be that um that harsh, harsh uh emotional. Not, not emotional, harsh, intellectual uh, leader here. Uh, he's not going to let Harry cry on his shoulder because the King of Swords doesn't get that way. And even Tyler Perry is feeling indifferent. So there isn't going to be this uh, emotional hugging. Oh, I love you, brother. You're my, you're my son. No, there is not going to be any of that. He's going to be kind of... Um, Give him the hard truth. It, he's screaming out the hard truth to him. Something Harry's not going to like. So then Harry's going to probably paint him black because Harry's borderline. Harry's going to go, ah, he's not on my side. So he's, now Tyler will probably be on the unfriend list if he can afford to even do that because he was harsh with them, telling him what he doesn't want to hear. God forbid if you should do intellect with the borderline. They want your emotional reaction only. They want to play on your emotions. They want your emotional reaction so that you fix it for him. Uh, Harry doesn't want the intellect. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to hear it. Uh, he doesn't want to be saved intellectually. He wants to be saved emotionally. Uh, but Tyler Perry is feeling very emotionally indifferent here. He realizes it's come to an end of the road with Megan and Harry as well. So I hope you enjoy this. Till next time, like and subscribe. And I made it to 42 minutes. I can't believe it. Wow. All right, you guys. If anybody's stuck through this long video, thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye.